who are being evicted there uh, about 10 years ago in a very brutal manner. And I talked about it. And many people are co uncomfortable with that. And what I'm saying is that uh, anybody who has a problem with my conduct, you go and report me to my employer. My employer are the people of Kenya. These are the people who employed me. Go to them and say, well, regarding Gashagwa deputy president, is becoming a nuisance. He's complaining that you people are being harassed. We want to report him to you and ask him to shut up. And he shouldn't keep on bickering and saying that you people are being mistreated. That's what I was saying. Those are my employers. You go and report me to them. You, you, you said that um, the people that trade in Wakulima market are not necessarily from one community. Mm. But then again, in some of those instances, you spoke in your mother tongue. Yes, Kikuyu, I did. I did. And some are using that to say that you're being a tribal leader. I did. I spoke in my mother tongue. When I looked for votes for Governor Sakaja, I spoke in mother tongue. He didn't have a complaint. He was quite happy. He was all smiles. You see, Sam, communication is not what you say. It's being understood. You talk to a people, to a language that they understand better. When I was looking for votes for President William Ruto, uh -huh. for Governor Sakaja, in meetings where the majority are people from my community, I spoke in my mother tongue. I don't know why people are having a problem. Now that elections have been won, when I speak to people in the language, I used to speak to them when we were looking for votes. What was good then is still good today. But that time you were not deputy president. Now you are a national office. The but president, that does not... Uh, just hold on. The president is a symbol of authority, mm. I mean a symbol of unity in the mm. country. Mm. You are the deputy president, principal mm. assistant. Mm. Maybe you would be held to the same standard. Does it not bother your conscience? Not at all because um, the fact that uh, I'm deputy president does not uh, diminish my heritage and where I come from, and my language. My language still remains intact. And some, let me tell you, communication is about being understood. It doesn't matter what language you speak. You speak the language even that people if, understand. Even if more than 40 communities of the Republic do not understand what you say. But they were not in that meeting. But they're hearing. But they, the people you are addressing, we were addressing specific issues in the labor market. Those issues are specific to those people. You talk to them the language that they understand most so that you agree you and you understand You've just told me that the Wakulima market is not just the Kikui community. There are other communities spoke, that trade there. I spoke 70% in Swahili. Yeah. And 30% I spoke in Kikuyu because the majority asked me to speak in Kikuyu. Mm -hmm. We have some mothers there who don't understand Kiswahili properly. We have some old men who have lived there in that market who have not lived in that market for a long time. And they told me, our son, we want to hear what are you telling us? What assurance are you giving us? And when I went there, uh, Sam, I talked to them in my mother tongue for them to vote for Governor Sakaja. It cannot be when they are crying, when they are complaining. I cannot talk the same language. Okay. Like I talked to them when I was appealing to them to vote for him. You said, wale wanaopanga hii upuzi wa siharibu hii Kenya, hii mm. Kenya imekuwa na matatizo mengi, wakijaribu hiyo maneno, wa Kenya hawata kubali. What, what is being organized? Nini napangwa? Uh, you know there are many schemes that are going on every day. You have, seen know, meetings, you have seen meetings um, uh, of uh, trying to divide the people of Mount Kenya region. You have seen meetings of undermining the deputy president. You have seen people being called and being offered money to impeach the deputy president, to remove him from office, and all that nonsense that is going on. And I was saying, you see, some are elected by the people. And I asked the people directly whether they have a problem with my leadership. And they say they don't have. I drew my mandate directly from the people. Uh, and what sorry. I was saying, yeah. what I was saying, anybody who has a problem with my leadership, anybody who has a problem with my conduct, yeah, mm -hmm. has every business to talk to my employer, the people of Kenya. Okay. Those are the people who make uh, decisions uh, over my conduct. Those are the people who can appraise my performance. Those are the people who can give an opinion as to what they think I'm doing, whether it's right or wrong. Okay. You're saying that uh, people have been offered money to remove you from office. How so? Uh, it's the worst kept secret in Kenya. I leave it alone. No, but you're talking about it. How much money has been offered? Well, uh, it's neither here nor there. I no, think it is. I think let's go for... for, for uh, 
more informative discussion. No, we will get there, Deputy President. We just want to dispense with this because you're the one who is saying it, that people are being offered money. Mm. Indeed, that's a crime, isn't it? Yes, of course it's a crime. So who's so offering the money? Uh, you know. No, I don't know. <laughs> you get to know. I don't know, Deputy President. You get to know. These things will come out as uh, in, the, in the fullness of time. Uh, these are things that will come out uh, in the public domain. People are Why would they want you out? I don't know. I don't know. What are they telling you? They'll tell us. They, when they want to get us out, they'll tell us. <laughs> they say that I'm high-headed. Yeah, that I am too people-centered. You know, uh, that I'm, you know, I'm listening to people too much. You know, that I am tasking people to listen to what Kenyans are saying. I don't think it's a crime. I think uh, leadership mm -hmm. is about the people. And for you to be a good leader, you need to listen to the people. And I keep on listening to the people myself. And I keep on asking leaders, my fellow leaders, to listen to the people. And uh, I'll continue listening to the people. And that's what I was doing today. And I'm wiser this evening than I was in the morning when I left here. Mm -hmm. I've known many things. I am well informed. Because you must listen to your employer because it's important that you listen to your employer. You're saying that people who have a problem with you should consult the people. In what forum? I mean, where is that in the Constitution? 